Hi there everyone and I would like to show you an up-to-date chess game today also. So in this chess game uh, this is actually a, a very uh, this is from a very important chess tournament from the world championship candidates uh, from the candidates chess tournament from 2024 which is an ongoing chess tournament and uh, so this is an up-to-date chess game. So in this chess game we have Alireza Fritza with the white pieces, a former Iranian chess grandmaster uh, and right now representing France and his opponent D. Gukesh from India. Both chess players are very young, rising superstars of chess. So Ali Reza, as you can see, uh, has 2760 rating points and his opponent uh, D. Gukesh is 2743. So this candidates chess tournament is happening in Toronto, Canada. And as a chess fan, of course, I'm following uh, this uh, candidates tournament as a chess spectator. Uh, briefly, I'm following the tournament. Uh, right now, I believe the leading player of the tournament is Ian Nepomniachi, who won previously two other different candidate tournaments. And as we all know, uh, he lost to Dink Liren and then Dinkleren became the new world chess champion uh, after Magnus Carlsen uh, left uh, his title. Uh, and so right now, basically, uh, the winner of this tournament is going to get the right to challenge Dinkleren. And if it is going to be Ian Napomniachi again, it is going to be very interesting. Uh, but we know that even though Dinkleren is the world chess champion, in my humble opinion, and we all know that, Magnus Carlsen is the strongest chess player right now in the world. Uh, they asked uh, Carlsen's opinion uh, about who's going to win the tournament, who's your favorite chess player uh, in the tournament. And he said that uh, his uh, favorites were two Americans, Hikaru Nakamura and Fabiano Caruana. And I think uh, Caruana is the only chess player in the tournament who's uh, 28, who's around 28. 100 rating points, but I think if I'm not mistaken, uh, Nepomniachi is leading. So, okay, interesting. So, let's see what happened in this uh, very interesting chess game. I have seen this chess game a few days ago and I find it interesting. So, uh, let's check out. You might have seen this chess game before uh, in these days, maybe, as it is up to date game and quite popular. So, okay, uh, Fritz uh, starts the game with d4, knight to f6, bishop to f4. We have the London system, Indian uh, against London. So, developing the pieces, uh, I will show this chess game briefly. I don't want to make very deep commentary uh, because it is going to be boring. So, developing the bishop, lifting the rook up, as you can see by Fritz, h5, h6, stopping the pawn. So, asking a question, exchanging the bishops, and white is going to castle... Uh, I mean, height is king with moving the king. So moving the king, black castled, queen over, and we have knight in, capturing and capturing back with the pawn and removing the knight, and then rook over. Obviously, a very basic threat. Bishop takes pawn is possible because this pawn is going to be pinned. So we have king over, unpinning, and then a5, and we have queen back, sacrificing a pawn, and then pushing the pawn but this pawn can't be accepted because of queen takes knight so we have rook over and then queen a uh, rook over defending the queen and then sacrificing uh, one more pawn first of all uh, attacking the rook so defending and so sacrificing uh, the pawn this is what i was uh, trying to say so black accepted but this opened the b file so white can attack we have c takes on d5 and it is black to move so okay okay so this is the critical moment of this chess game uh, d gukesh decided to sacrifice his knight because this knight is going to be pinned and this was a radical decision so after king takes on f2 rook takes on d5 and it looks like uh, this knight is pinned so if you move the knight uh, rook takes queen so we have rook to e4, increasing the pressure, defending the knight with the bishop, but attacking one more time. And how to defend the knight? If moving the knight, rook takes queen. So in this position, if Fritja found the best move, what is the best move? What would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? Okay, queen 
to b3 did you see this move well after queen takes knight takes what else and then bishop takes on e3 and after rook takes on e3 i'm pinning the queen and well white is a piece up but actually this is quite logical for black because black has three extra pawns for a piece and two connected outside pass pawns so it looks very logical for gukesh very exciting chess pushing the pawn and the pawns are marching full steam ahead knight to c5 rook over rooks are much better behind the pawns but after knight to d7 black is running into a problem well in this position uh, gukesh uh, needed to keep his eye open for the tactics and i heard that he was having some time problem uh, there was some time pressure and he played king to h7 in this position well why not pushing the pawn what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces guess the next move of white okay i hope you have seen rook takes on a3 and this is a very simple tactic uh, so this is why he had to be careful and if capturing the rook if accepting the sacrifice then we have check and then check only move and then check and one of the only move or blocking with the rook and then rook to h8 and getting checkmated and there is no defense unbelievable so gukesh who was suffering because of time pressure he actually made some miscalculations so king to h7 a black realized that and then rook to f3 attacking the pawn and you can't push the pawn because of knight takes a with check and this pawn is pinned so a3 but then rook takes on f7 and threatening check and actually there is no defense here unbelievable we have king to h8 well if pushing the pawn then we have check only move and then rook takes on g7 and whatever black does black is getting checkmated so black can throw some checks but it doesn't matter uh, promoting the queen and getting checkmated so rook takes on f7 uh, ali reza is winning very easily so we have king to h8 and then knight to f8 knight back is possible so we have a2 we have check and after this move gukesh resigned unbelievable at top level chess competition uh, so the possible continuation is king to g8 and getting checkmated and there is no defense or if king to h7 then rook takes on g7 check mate both uh, both different scenarios is ending by getting checkmated by the gukesh and what a disaster what an unbelievable result what a drama well Gukesh D lost pretty badly. They say he was suffering because of time pressure. So that was the problem. And what an incredible victory by Ali Reza Fritza uh, from France. Okay, so I hope to see you next time with more interactive chess games. Uh, maybe from this tournament as well. If you liked it and if you want to see more games from this tournament, you can type it in the comment section and let me know. So uh, you can also like the video and let me know with liking the video. Uh, that will also send the message to me so uh, stay safe take care and bye bye